Well, hello, everybody. My name is Dan, and this is Linda, and we just wanted to send out some truth statements that we've been meditating on here at Life Church Muskoka. We all recognize it is the Christmas season, and in the Christmas season, life can get so busy, it feels like we're almost overwhelmed. The busyness, uh, the expectations that sometimes are real, and sometimes the expectations aren't real. So we just wanted to encourage you that are watching today that God never changes. His love endures forever. It's not difficult for you to hear God's voice. The Bible says that the sheep know the shepherd's voice. So I believe that God is always talking to us. We just have to learn to know that this is God. That comes through our relationship with him because how do you get to know somebody? You spend time with them, you hear their heart, they hear your heart, that kind of thing. So your relationship with God is the key. It's the most important thing in your life because when you have that right, everything else lines up. People, you can ask them if you do get them to pause and say, you know, what is your belief in God? It's not difficult. People will tell you, well, I either believe in a God or I don't believe in a God or I believe this about God. How about their experience? Not what do you believe, but is your belief lining up with your experience? We believe that God is a good God, that, that Jesus came and fulfilled the requirements of us to approach God. So therefore, if Jesus fulfilled it, God is actually, would it be fair to say he's in a good mood? Yes, he is. And he's good all the time because the Bible says that he doesn't change. So he's good and, and his goodness, he wants to actually release and pour out his goodness upon his sons and daughters and even upon the people in the earth that don't know him yet. His goodness is seeing the joy of the Lord on his people, the peace, the peace of God. Even even in the midst of turmoil and struggle and, and hard times, you can have peace in that place, in the midst of the storms. When we actually believe in the truth, we get free in our emotions. Mm -hmm. And then when we get free in our emotions, then we get free in our experience. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, it, it can be a cycle of victory. Yes. What you believe is very, very important. Because I believe that what you believe, you actually empower that in your life. True. So if you're believing that things are not going to be very good in your circumstances because of your maybe past, your history or whatever you're going through, because sometimes when you're in a storm, it's hard to think straight. No, I have to hold on to the anchor, the rock, which is Jesus Christ, to the power of his word in that circumstance so that I can get through the storm and come out the other side victorious. Any conclusion? or belief, so any conclusion or belief without hope attached to it is under the influence of a lie. Yeah. You could take that a little bit further that, you know, he who has the most hope has the most joy. Yes. And, 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 fill, and filled with up with the truth too. Because the Bible says you'll know the truth and the truth will make you free. Yeah. He's given us everything that we need this Christmas season to walk in peace, joy, and everything that all, all of heaven has for us, you know? And when we believe that and we walk in that, we actually experience that. And then it spills out onto everybody that we meet. So good. So our posture then, as we wrap up, our posture for this Christmas season is when I give my attention to hope, even though it's busy, but when I pause and reflect on what God did for me, what Jesus did for me by being born of a virgin, mm -hmm. you know, how crazy is that? <laughs> being raised from a place of uh, non -prom uh prominence. You know, he was very humble beginnings. You know, I always, you know, say the blessings of God come in brown paper bags. But when we receive that, which can be so, so insignificant, sometimes it's receiving the smile that somebody gives a, a, across the table and then reciprocal being able to give that smile back when we know it's rooted in hope. It's rooted in the truth that God loves us, that God his, his love is shed abroad in our hearts for other people. So really this Christmas season, what an amazing opportunity for us to give hope, for us to give love, to us to give just 
a smile. I have received the greatest gift of all, Jesus. We're going to embrace all that he has so for good. us. He gave us life. We were dead. Now we're alive. There was sickness, but now now we're healed. I was I was bound by chains and now I'm free. It overwhelms me sometimes his mercy and his love that he has for his children. So just remember Jesus Christ, the greatest gift of all, that he actually gave us life and life more abundantly. God, we thank you that your presence is everywhere. So that person watching right now, if we just take a moment, we can receive your love. We can make a declaration over our family this Christmas season that my family and myself will encounter God's love mm -hmm. like never before, both during and after this Christmas season. And Lord, we just pray and release that if you, if you out there don't know Jesus, mm. oh, he's the greatest gift of all. And yes, his plans for you are good. He has a vision. He has a purpose so for you. And he loves you beyond what you could even imagine. And he wants to take you out of darkness and bring him into his marvelous light. Because it really is marvelous. And if you do know Jesus, he wants you to encounter him more this Christmas season. And to be able to spill out onto everybody that's around you. So good.